So we often get questions from users of iTree Canopy asking how they can determine the date of the image in Canopy. So this is just going to be a couple minute video showing the process that I use to find the date of images in iTree Canopy. Um, the one limitation with iTree Canopy is that these are the images that Google provides us. So they're the latest images that Google shares. Um, and we don't know the exact date. They don't share the date with us. So the work, the workaround uh, that I use to find the date is I actually use uh, Google Earth Pro in uh, collaboration with iTree Canopy. So I have, this is actually a, a user's project. They asked me this exact question. So I figured I'd take a second to use that as an example. Um, so I try and pull up the same exact location in Google Earth Pro and Google Earth Pro is installed software. Uh, so you have to go to the internet, search for Google Earth Pro and download it and install it. Uh, and you'll see typically, um, it will show the same exact image. I actually just pasted one of the latitude and longitudes in one of the points uh, to zoom me to the same location. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show these two images uh, side by side here. And uh, the way I like to do this is I'm going to try and zoom in on, uh, in this case, a parking lot, but like a parking lot is good, a gas station, anything where there's a lot of change on sort of a short amount of time. Uh, and what I like to do is just see if I have the same exact cars in the same exact position. So if we're just looking at this first row of the parking lot here, uh, you can see that we've got this red car and the white car here. We've got another red car over here. So those match in between. So the reason why I use Google Earth Pro, uh, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, is that Google Earth Pro actually has the actual date down here. It tells you the imagery date. Uh, on here we see that this is 6 uh, 13, 2022 for the imagery date here. Sometimes the dates won't exactly line up and they have an actual time slider so you can go back and forth in time. So just this little clock with the uh, backwards facing arrow here. And now you can switch back and forth in time until you find that parking lot or whatever you're looking at that shows the same exact cars in the same position. So you can see we go to a different date we have the cars different and you can see uh, it would be a different day down here. So now it no longer lines up. So again, that's how I do it. You go in here, you use the time slider until you find an image that matches and you can read off the imagery date down here. Occasionally, if you're doing a really big area, there might be uh, more than one imagery date in there. So that might be something that you'll have to look at, see how much of your area is one image and how much is another uh, to decide what date you're gonna report if someone wants to know the date of that imagery. So that's quickly how I go about finding the date of images in iTree Canopy.